Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nothing But Games podcast. As per the usual, I'm your host, Matt, and welcome. So today... Another solo podcast for Matt. Yeah. So, no. so today I'm joined by Mike and Marcus. Yeah, how's it going? With new setups. Mike has his own microphone now. Yes. I'm so I happy. the plunge. Finally. God. I got a mic. I'm so happy, honestly. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I did this. Now we have this nice elaborate setup. Yeah. As opposed to the simplicity of the other one we had. Yeah, because the other one would just crash all the time, right? Exactly. Yeah. I love staring into your eyes. Thanks. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry. You could still stare into my eyes later. Nice. Marcus, any comment from you? Who's your favorite X-Men? Uh, the Flash. Um, you mean Quicksilver? No, I know what I said. He knows what he said. I'm going to go with Batman. <laughs> you mean Nightcrawler? <laughs> That's good point. It's funny because... I was clearly joking. However, Mike's not, you know, yeah. culturally in tune, so... It wasn't clear if I was joking. Which yeah. what I wanted. It's okay. Who's your top five Dota heroes? My top five Dota heroes? That boy, that boy, and that boy. There's a poster behind me. It's fine. Yee. It's fine. And that guy with the lots of, lots of teeth right there. Okay. I think he has a normal amount of teeth. They're just very large. No, they're like layered. Looks like uh, Doomsday. They're layered. How can it be normal? I don't know what you guys are looking at, but it's fine. Wait. This one. Oh, Life Stealer. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, he has a few extra teeth. I shouldn't be laughing because I was talking about, like, Nightcrawler, so. Honestly, though. It's fine. Perfect. So, speaking of uh, X-Men and superheroes and stuff, I'm going to get right into the news looking today. At, he keeps, like, reaching around. <laughs> We're going to get right into the news today. Um, it's a good segue because Did we ever knock it right in. Uh, no, actually, we you know yeah, we lolly gag for a bit. Years. Can we go around it? No. Let's go around. Just it. dive right in there, boy. <laughs> Put so that right. song on. The, the let me dive in. I don't think I know this this music. What? What? Okay. Marcus doesn't uh, know memes. I really don't. Now yeah, we know. I try my my best to avoid them. Nah, you love memes. Some people say I perfect them, but I try my best to avoid. You mean mm. Greg Miller? I, ju- I, like, don't do jokes. I'm sorry. Shout out to McDonald's Coffee. Nice oh, amazing. Who's your favorite McDonald's character? My favorite McDonald's character? Mm. Ronald McDonald, obviously. Hmm. Guaranteed Ronald. Hamburglar. Mm. Hamburglar. I think, like, Mayor McCheese. Honestly? I don't know who voted I him said, into office. I said, uh... That one because it's the only one I could remember other than Ronald. Ronald Grimace. Who? You don't know Grimace? He's the big purple one. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had a. There was a commercial like back in the day with him and Trump. <laughs> <laughs> it was like some like oh this burger is like one twenty five or whatever, and it's just, like Trump talking to Grimace. It's got, he, his sister with his eyes closed. Yes, one twenty five. You're gonna build a wall with it and have the Mexicans pay for it. Nice. It's fine. How do we get on the topic of Trump again? I don't know. This always happens. Jeez. Cheese, like Mayor McCheese. Oh, Put here we go. Again. <laughs> what about like Birdie, the Fry Guys? So Lego Dimensions, uh, they tweeted something very interesting. Yeah. This is just an update from last week. Yeah, e. So if Marcus wants to throw this on the screen oh. on the YouTube video, oh okay, I thought you were like gonna make me do something right now. But... Oh no, if like on the YouTube video, I will. You're fine. It's fine. He so never does it. they tweeted, um, and I quote from their Twitter. Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment, TT Games, and Lego Group uh, would like to thank fans for their ongoing support of Lego Dimensions. After careful consideration, we will not be producing new expansion packs for the game beyond what is now available. We will continue to support. Uh, we will continue to provide ongoing server and uh, customer support for all Lego Dimensions packs. Existing packs will continue to work interchangeably and will remain available for purchase. Yeah, so this is just the official update now from where last week it was just a report from, I think, Eurogamer, mm-hmm. where, yeah, and now it's some Warner Brothers and TT Games coming out and saying, yeah, the game's pretty much done. Yeah. Confirmed. Which, yeah, 
So Seven Toys people. to Life is pretty. It's safe to say that it's kind of gone unless you're an amiibo. More or less. Yeah, unless, it's yeah. like peak. Maybe what Activision mean? will bring back Skylanders in like a couple of years again, but I don't know. Maybe, but... Yeah. It's, there's nothing much to hear. Yeah, like, just feeling still stand from last week. It sucks that it's ending, but what can you do? Like, if LEGO couldn't keep it up, then... And same with, like, Di- well, not even if LEGO couldn't keep it up. If Disney couldn't have kept it up with, like, Star Wars characters and Marvel characters, then really, who, like, how are you going to be able to stay alive in a market like that? Exactly. But, yeah. It was oversaturated with uh, Skylanders, I think. It can now rest in peace. Mm-hmm. We'll talk Indeed. about something else that will rest in peace later, too. Yeah. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Tap, tap. Okay. Well, you won't be tapping those uh, them Lego dimensions in. Nice. This is actually quite funny. Thank you. I could tell by that in, that like enthusiastic laughter that you poured, that you fucking poured out. <laughs> it was quite funny. Yeah. By the way, half of your notes here didn't load. Oh, great. No way. So it says, you know, we'll get to it. Um. Second piece of news. This is a little bit of a long one here. Um, Nintendo unveiled their next mobile game, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Unlike the main Animal Crossing games, you are managing your own campsite instead of a town. While, when gathering items in the world and completing missions and char- for characters, you're rewarded with materials, which are meant for crafting furniture uh, for your campsite. However, uh, it, you earn leaf tickets, which allow you to speed up crafting items and furniture as well as buy special items. You can also purchase real leaf tickets with real money. Hashtag microtransactions. Yeah, because we need more of those, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you can also increase your friendship with certain animals in the game, which will allow you will allow them to visit your campsite. And you and your you can invite your friends to visit your world or random uh, or allow randoms into your campsite as well. Um, typical typical Animal Crossing customization features are shown off in the direct um, with the new feature of allowing you to customize your camper, a small mobile home that you can decorate. Uh, the game will release in late November on iOS and Android for free. Is there a problem, sir? It's just that when when you read it, it reminds me of like when you're in like elementary school and the entire class would like yeah. be reading one book, then you have just like one kid who's just like monotonely reading the paragraphs and doesn't know where to like stop or end. <laughs> you are correct, sir. Classic. The Nintendo classic. All right. <laughs> Are you going to be downloading this? Um, yeah, this is the thing. I saw so many people that were excited about it. I like Animal Crossing. Yeah. And just I want to go on like the pricing thing first. I think it makes sense that this is free-to-play. Nintendo, they got backlash when they put out Mario Run, and it was like 10 bucks after you uh, only you could play like the first five levels or whatever free, and then you pay, you pay $10. Yeah. People like us who like are in like into like playing games like frequently we don't care about paying for games it's like the general consumer they see a phone they see a game on their phone they expect it to be free so it's they're making the right decision by making it free and going into like what the leaf tickets do the leaf tickets assumedly just speed up the process of like crafting furniture because you're not just buying it outright in this one so they speed up the process of things or you can maybe buy certain certain things with leaf tickets but rather than just only being available through uh real money you can earn them just like like most mobile games so it seems like they're doing the right thing I probably won't download it. I just, I'm just not a fan of playing games on my phone, even though it is Nintendo. Maybe I will, maybe I will try it out. I don't know. I did try out like Me Tomo, but that wasn't, a, but that wasn't a game. So remember that game? That yeah. was their first like mobile thing. Yeah, so we were like, all like, oh my god. And even like Mario Run, and like I tried it on like some other people's phones, but I just can't get into playing games on my phone. Yeah, I feel you. Well, I agree with what Mark said about how it's a good pricing for this game. Because mm. you're right, they're going after the more casual, like. Crowd yeah. for this game whereas Mario like more hardcore gamers hardcore mm-hmm. rotations would go for that and pay for the money but yeah if this works like out like a uh, Fire Emblem War not Warriors Heroes did mm-hmm. then Nintendo would be good um, personally I didn't even watch Direct I don't really care for Animal Crossing oh, so. I'm, I'm just waiting like I want the full on like real Animal Crossing for Switch that's when, when like because the Switch is so good about being portable now and yeah with everyone whenever the inevitable animal crossing game comes out on switch if we were to all get it and shit like it's so good when you're with other people because everyone's towns are so different from one another people have like different like items and like 
items and like fruits that are only available in their world so it like encourages the sharing and whatnot so that'll be good whenever we like come together each week or whatever and we can if we have animal crossing then we can actually like trade with each other but for the mobile game i think like even with most mobile games i feel like people usually there's a fast drop off rate like pokemon go it it's still popular nowadays there's definitely a lot of people playing it but not it's not yeah, as vocal as it used to be like last year I think the same thing will happen with Animal Crossing. Will it be as big as Pokemon Go? No. Um, but yeah, it's more power to them. If Maybe if like a lot of people are like really enjoying it and talking about it on like my feeds and I hear friends really enjoying it, maybe I'll try it out. But I'm just going to wait for a real Animal Crossing title. Mm-hmm. Did you mention anything about... No. Anything to... Oh, what, to like the switch, to a yeah. potential Switch version? No. To connect, like, n- nothing at all? No. Because I remember, like, the last time they talked about it, they said, oh, it'll be compatible with yeah. future Animal Crossing games. But nothing like they that They didn't yet. say anything yet. Okay. Even, like, before the direct happened, they made it clear. They had, like, in their tweets, they were, like, only mobile. <laughs> yeah, like, I saw yeah, that. emphasized that it was going to be only mobile. Yeah. yeah I, w- I don't even know when an Animal Crossing would come out on Switch. I could honestly see them pulling it out any time. Yeah, but, like, what's going on for Switch next year? I can't even Yoshi and Kirby... Um, Yoshi, not Metroid heavy Prime heavy. Four, maybe Pokemon. No. I could see Pokemon coming. It's pretty much. It's, it. I see that at 2019. As but for Pokemon, same with, same yeah. with Prime Four. Yeah, well, no, Prime Four is not happening until like 2020 exactly, at the earliest. So yeah, like, what's coming next Pokemon. Year? What's I could hitter? see like Pokemon would be this year at the earliest or next year at the earliest because it is pretty much annualized at this point. The only but the only time they do take breaks is between generations, and who knows how they're going to handle this one? If they're mm-hmm. going to do an entirely new one, yeah, I hope if, they do. If, they're not gonna like. Well, I don't know for sure, but I don't think they're gonna take like sudden moon assets yeah, for the but, Switch one. They'll probably just do who new who. Yeah. Like, wow, whole new thing. But the thing for Animal Crossing though is the last time we got one was 2013, so it's been four years. The Wii U only ever got that weird ass channel. <laughs> do you remember that direct when they had that like it, they had the Wii U app and they showed it yep. and everybody thought it was the actual game and they all flipped out and they saw what it was. Yeah, and it's just like, like <laughs> here's a bunch of animals talking to each other. <laughs> It's pretty much like when you turn on your Wii U and all the Mii's just came like rampaging as a, it yeah. It's like the opening of The Last of Us. It's like all the Mii's just come running <laughs> towards you. And then you hold R and it's the yeah. spin circle circle. Yeah. Good but time. they have all those like HD like character models and shit, I guess, of the characters. So put them to use on the Switch. Because <laughs> the moment that I put so many hours into New, into New Leaf and like the, and like Wild World and city folk like i love the i love animal crossing so but i want a fully fledged animal crossing not one that i want to play on my phone just because yeah i said i don't like mobile gaming <laughs> just not even, like more power to you if you like it but just not being able to have like physical buttons it being on my phone which then drains phone battery like it dies enough as it is and like no thanks no i feel and i'm getting like constant messages and shit like no. And honestly, especially the Nintendo ones, the Nintendo games, because you have to be connected to Wi-Fi. Yeah. So like, if you're in a like a like on a bus or something, and you don't have your data on, you can't play. Mm-hmm. So which is which the, is like, the opposite of the point of a mobile game. Defeats the purpose. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Whereas I play Temple Run on my phone all the time when I'm on the bus or something. Not that I'm on the bus a lot, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Very true. Matt, you're gonna download it. Um. I'll probably download it. Also, it, try, it, it is actually available in like Australia right now. So actually, yeah. So I get you can like change your phone region or whatever. Do that. actually, yeah, I could, so random. I could download it actually. Yeah. <laughs> so why is it like that? Nintendo's Nintendo. I don't know. Fair Maybe point. they just wanted to test it out in Australia first. It's what November here? Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. It is a like a camp version. So I guess who knows? Because New Leaf came out in the summer of 2013 around The Last of Us. Perfect uh, comp- complimentary games. Mm-hmm. So yeah hope uh it was summer was the perfect time for it though because i was like out of school and i was playing that thing non-stop it was a good game to experience mm-hmm. i enjoyed new leaf a lot so like you said i can't wait for the the switch version of it having um more people to play with um because i only had a couple but like somebody active enough to play uh animal crossing with would be cool. a like lot people actually fun. have switches this time rather than like only like people a lot of people had 3ds's but i feel like 3ds's we're more attracted to like the wide range of like general children. consumers and like yeah. yeah a lot of children where the switch a lot of core gamers are actually now back into nintendo yeah mm-hmm. i was talking about this with someone at work today like i was like if you're walking down the street with a 3ds it looks weirder than walking down with the switch you know a little bit yeah like you know what i mean i think you shouldn't be walking around and playing at the same time you know what i mean like if you're sitting on a park bench you know playing with your switch it doesn't look as bad or not as bad but like as weird you frequent as parks a lot um, maybe mm. at night when they're, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. <laughs> Moving on. 
Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I'll probably give it a try, but yeah, probably wait for a, a bigger, bigger Animal Crossing. Yeah. So not to disparage it, but like a real Animal Crossing. Yeah, honestly. Um, a lot of Xbox this week. Hmm. Um, so first Xbox on. Nice. How many Xboxes did I just turn on? I don't know. None, because the Connect just got discontinued. <laughs> Whoa! Segue. Great segue into our next topic. In an interview with Fact Co Design, Fact Co Design, uh, mm-hmm. Alex Kipman, creator of the Connect, and Matthew Lapson, GM for Xbox Devices Marketing, revealed that the news that Microsoft will be shutting down the manufacturing for the Connect. They said, "They said, quote." The company will continue to support Connect for customers on Xbox, but only ongoing developer tools remain unclear. End quote. This is quite interesting, considering um, I see a lot of Connects being used for um, things like for ex- <laughs> <laughs> wow, um, they're being used for exhibits and things like they're yeah in, they are they're in oh, uni- yeah, yeah. they're in university. Yeah, I saw one at York. I remember yeah. I sent them to you guys. Like, or you'd even see them like. If you'd go to, like, the movies, they'd have, sometimes have them in, like, the front near, like, the uh, like the box office where it's just, like, you you can have, like, your photo. You have, There's, like, a video of you, and you're pretty much put mm-hmm. inside this, like, AR thing. A lot of like, um, a lot of people use the Kinect as well for, like, um, uh, designing. It's just for, like, science and, like... Yeah, yeah. science. Like, more science. business aspect. Yeah, exactly. Like, science uses it himself. Oh, Mr. yeah. Mr. Science. No, was, Mr. Bill Nye. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bill Gates. Yeah, I think it's clear that the gaming uses of Connect have. It's you know, no, it was course. just such like, uh, it was just a leftover idea back when like everyone was trying to chase Nintendo with the motion controls, yeah. and yeah. like Xbox went like they doubled down on having the Connect bundled with the original Xbox One, and it kind of, like the original Connect did really well, which is why they included a 2.0 in like straight into the box when the Xbox One first launched, but that's not what people wanted. Like exactly. you even saw like. N- it was it was kind of like forcefully implemented into games when the Connect first launched, and there were some like good uses of it, like some like funny uses, other than like sports games and like fitness games and whatnot. Uh, there, I remember one of some sports games, like NBA or FIFA or something. If you would like yell out and curse at the coach, <laughs> you would you, get you would get carded or get like carded. suspended. Yeah. So there was some like good shit like that. Yeah. But yeah, I remember back when the Connect was originally uh, revealed as like Project Natal. And there was this, like... How do you remember that? Uh, I was, like, really hyped for the Connect. I thought it was going to be so cool. But it wasn't. <laughs> I can imagine little yeah. Marcus, like, oh, I can't wait to dance. There was, um, there was like, <laughs> one... There was, like, one... Um, I forget who it was, but he was, like, describing, like, what an app... Like, he was, like, you want to know what the bottom of an Avatar shoe looks like? And he would, like... He actually lifted his shoe, or he lifted his leg in, like, in real life. And then the Avatar just, like, fucking flipped out. And, like, his, head, his like, leg went over his, like, neck and everything. <laughs> I'll show you guys the video after. <laughs> and also, um, like, they had... I remember when, um, like, some of the early test footage showed there were these, like, two, um, these two, like, friends, and they were just, like, looking through a bunch of different clothes, and they would, like, grab with their hand, like, a dress or something, and then, like, put it on them, and then they were, like, imagining it, like, it looked like they were actually wearing it. never fucking happened, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Same with, like scanning in like an actual skateboard and then that yep. would be like the skateboard you're riding they had like connect fun labs on the 360 and you would like scan in an actual item but it would just be this blocky ass version of what what it actually was so it yeah. never lived up to like the potential it could and then i remember this um what was that shooter that never came out so you remember when they first unveiled the connect and the xbox in 2013 they had um a shooter that they did that uh it was apparently supposed to come out and the biggest thing was like um when you customize your guns you can have the gun floating in front of you on the screen i remember this the, yeah. and then he he like grabbed it with his hands and then went like in like i think that was just like test footage yeah. or like i don't think that was actually meant to be a game it was just probably something like hey this you can implement this into your games but yeah it's just like he grabbed the gun and like took mm-hmm. it apart um with his hands with the connect and then it was like moving different things like you remember this right yeah yeah that would have been awesome. Like, right. even, do you remember Milo? It was this, like, it was this just, like, random, not even a game. It was just some, like, application of, I can't, I can't even remember which studio would, um, had, like, built it. But it was this, like, digital boy named Milo that he would remember everything that, like, you would have, like, full-on conversations with him with the Connect. This was back with the um, 360 version. 
you'd have like conversations with him and he would remember everything that you would like say to him he would recognize how you look through the connect and you he would like tell you about his day and then he would like he would like adapt to how you um adapt to the conversations that you guys had and you would just fucking like go to him like every day and it's just like some on some random xbox somewhere or some like development studio this boy's just like stuck in this virtual world because it never happened it was kind of cool but also kind of creepy it was like it was just a like young boy and like near a riverside like skipping on rocks while like this woman was talking to him you go, go look at the, we'll look at look at this video afterwards i don't remember this so. that i don't remember but that sounds amazing i watched Honestly, so much early connection when it would when have it been unreal. very cool to have some sort of ai like that mm-hmm. um and like an actual useful ai you know what i mean like you know how we have siri on our phones yeah when the hell do you ever use siri other than Literally by mistake never. mm-hmm only like, when I'm like driving and I like I want to change the song, but like I don't want to open my phone because it's dangerous. So I just, hey Siri, play "Walking the Wire" by Magic Dragons. Okay, well, I mean, you know what I mean. It's just yeah. like a cool little AI. Yeah, but even they um they did implement the Cortana in uh, into the Connect. I don't know if mm-hmm. they well it was available, but not in Canada. It wasn't here, so we can no, you try can, it. You can still on use the Xbox. You can still use it uh, unless you like went around it. But it, it wasn't actually meant for like it was only certain countries that that they allowed it. But and they went through so much trouble to like implement that in. Now they're just getting rid of the Connect. It makes sense though. Like they they went back on it real fast into um as for having it included with the Xbox One because that was originally what made it more expensive than the PS4 like mm-hmm. it was an actual what, like 50 or 100 bucks yeah, so it was 50 so when they dropped it it was 50 bucks less mm-hmm. something of the sort sorry i'm just what are you looking at Matt oh you're right yeah yeah cuz there's a reddit thread um to get cortana in canada and keep it and keep canada as your your yeah. region cuz even the original xbox 1 dashboard and like os oh. that was built for connect because it was so hard to like navigate yeah. and shit yeah but we're past that now and like the xbox one from 2013 yeah it was 2013 it launched right yeah Yeah. 2013 2013 from 2017 is just completely different in terms of the way the xbox one actually looks Mm -hmm. which xbox ones there are no connect anymore the dashboard looking completely different i think it's a it's an improvement for the better Mm -hmm. like it, it was they didn't take a step in the right direction they took like a giant leap like this was you know down mm-hmm. here which it was is very just, low and now it's yeah they've been know. making they've been pretty much doing damage control and like trying to like yeah, repair sure. what happened back in 2013 when like focusing on the tv and everything aspect it was pretty much the hubris that they had with 360 to one that like sony had from ps2 to ps3 so every time you think that you're on top of the world and that you can get people back it'll never work like we to we you like look at it every time you're there like like someone does so well I, they just think that they're always going to come back but the moment that you get too big for like too big for your britches like no this seems like a big cycle i mean can we for example i mean can you speculate that um the next console that's going to do well will be the next generation of xbox over the playstation or nintendo i would bet maybe not because they with PlayStation 3 or PlayStation yeah from PS3 to PS4 they realized like man we we screwed up so we're doubling down on the gamers we're bringing in indies we're giving the people we're giving like we're feeding like our main audience first like the core people who will give us like the most money over the years and who are going to keep coming back and then we'll automatically get these like the casuals and the people who buy games once once or twice a year for like their FIFAs and their Call of Duties FIFA but I don't think they want to lose this, and they actually know now, and they have people in charge who looked at this. They realized where where they went wrong before, and I don't think they're going to do it again. Yeah, it's understandable. I mean, it's it's like a back and forth. Like, the PlayStation 2 was better than the... Or, like, it did better than the Xbox. Yeah, it, PS2 is still the best-selling system ever. Just saying. Like, and then the next generation, the Xbox 360. Yeah, well, right. The didn't sold it. more than the Xbox. Yeah. And then this generation, the PlayStation 4, is, like, 2 to 1 ratio still. Yeah. Um, like, it's, like, this pattern. Or, hang on, ready? I'm going to throw a wrench in there. It's be like, all right, three generations, oh, yeah. Nintendo. <laughs> you know? There, There is, like, a, a people, like, float around, like, a three-console curse. Yeah. Where you even look, like, NES to SNES to N64, which didn't perform as well as, um, like, PS1 and shit. And as well as... People could like GameCube, Wii, Wii U, 
Look at that. PS1, PS2, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, Xbox One. True. Very true. So, yeah. Yeah. Sega fucking Master System Genesis Dreamcast. Like, Regardless, they're making appropriate steps to do things necessary. They're doing uh, They're doing necessary. a good job of it. What? Things necessary. To, you know, build back their audience and yep. have people purchase, the you know, mm-hmm. Xboxes again and whatnot. They have the launch of the Xbox One X um, in a week and a bit. Um, fantastic. Like, it's... I'm ready. I'm, by the way, which I am getting the Xbox One X. Fully yeah. paid off ready. Yeah. So. Congrats. Thank you. I'm happy for you. Are you going to stream it? Yeah. You know what? I'll have... We'll have a full review. Nightmare Mick. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, because um, this one hasn't loaded yet, I'm going to skip it and have you read it later. Wait, what is it? GameCube controller adapter. I literally don't have anything written for that. Oh. I don't. I didn't know if we were going to include this. It was just that the GameCube controller adapter works now. It was, like, hidden into that update that happened last week. It Did works with the it? Switch now. Um, no, I didn't. Because, actually, because I didn't know if this was really newsworthy because the whole update pretty much allowed third-party controllers to work. Like, why are third-party controllers that's to work? What, yeah, what and... I remember Reggie, he spoke to someone from Kotaku, I don't remember who, and he was like in an interview with him, he just said, yeah, we were as surprised as everyone else that the GameCube controllers work with it, so. Damn, I didn't see that. Yeah. That's cool. But Wait, wired third-party controllers work? Yeah. Can I plug my Xbox controller into it? I don't think you can. I think like some, like, it depends on the one. May as well. But yeah, um... I wasn't going to even include this. I meant to take that out, but I don't That's know. Okay. Do you guys think of anything? Like, That's just gonna be I just thought, like, people are speculating, like, Nintendo doesn't do shit like this by accident. Maybe it was. On, I don't think it was. I think it's going back to the of the whole thing of, and I said this actually earlier today to a customer, the console launched incomplete, um, mm-hmm. like, software-wise. So now they're just fixing their mistake. Yeah. Um, That's possible. There's been four major updates already anyways. Um, like, this update also added... Um, like support video for capture and whatnot. No, it, yeah, so, I was going to say support for system sharing. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. moving things, yeah, moving data. Yeah. Last week, no? So I mean, like that's something that should have been there, but but maybe if they realize that they can do this now, maybe if they ever do a GameCube virtual console or re-release GameCube games, you can use the GameCube controller if people cool. would want, or if when Smash comes out, not mm-hmm. if when it comes out, people would definitely want to use this. Exactly. But, like, how many GameCube controllers do people still have? Like, the they, they resold them last, uh, in 2014 when Smash Wii U they came did? out. Yeah, oh, they yeah, did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what am I saying? Never mind. Mm-hmm. I'll so, up, I man. know. They're holding on to these, like, decade-old, over-decade-old controllers. Mm-hmm. And they're just, like, feeding to the audience. Like, people want it, so. That's true. Might as well sell it. Exactly. Um, backwards compatibility for yeah. the Xbox. It's now available. OG Xbox. Not yeah. Xbox. Xbox One. To Xbox. OG Xbox. E. Yeah. Um, you didn't include the games. Oh, but uh, do you want me to? I, I have them. It's okay. Don't worry. Wow. So, E. Nice. Thank you. Because I know, like, Mike's not going to know any of them. So. Crimson, Crimson Sky. Wow. Crimson Skies is one of them. Yeah. Wow. So, the list, um, as per the Xbox website, um, per for the original Xbox games that are backwards compatible now, um, Black, Ninja Gaiden, Black. Ninja um, Gaiden. 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 Ninja Apologize. Gaiden. Apologize. <laughs> um, Crimson Skies, High Road to Revenge, Fusion Frenzy, Psychonauts, Sid, My- Sid Meier's Pirates. Jesus. Sid Meier's Pirates. This in Pirates. Yeah. Um, grabbed by the Ghouls. Ghoulies. Ghoulies. Sorry, sorry. It's a rare game. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. Good game. Everybody says it's a good game. Blood Rain 2, Red Faction 2, Prince of Persia. Sands of Time. <laughs> yes. It. <laughs> the. <laughs> I'm sure to help you out, my man. Neo Wave, the King of <laughs> Fighters. Are you okay? Under, if you look what I'm looking at, under like, that's uh, th- this is what I was reading, not nice. the title. Yeah, underneath it, it show it shows what it says as well. Mm. It says K O F Neo Wave. I'm like, yeah, Cough. just giant question mark right there. It's fine. Upside down question mark. Yeah, literally though. I've never played any one of those games. It's okay though. Okay, because you were born last year. <laughs> 2011, actually. And finally, the Games with Gold for November. Oh, wait, hold on. Are you going to play? Do you have an, Did you have an original Xbox? I did, sir. Are you? Do you still have any of the games? Or no? I unfortunately do not, sir. Are you ever going to Are you gonna go and get old ones to 
play your games. I don't even know. I think you can you buy them digitally. I honestly didn't look into that. I don't. Rem- I don't think so. I don't know, but don't quote me on it. Um, if I were to, I'm gonna be totally honest. It would probably be going back to buying Halo One and Two, and that's it. But you have Master Chief Collection as well, so it's just to have. Yeah, like, that's it. But it's not even. They didn't even make it available. No, I know. So. Like yes. I don't. I personally don't care yeah, for yeah. it, but who knows? It's fine. It's maybe, fine. We'll get, maybe I'll get Star Wars Battlefront 2 on it, because I remember playing that on my Xbox. Mike's like, but Star Wars Battlefront 2 is coming out this next month. Is there a <laughs> Battlefront 2 for Oh, my. Here we go. Do I look like I know about the Star Wars things? <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi? Star Wars Battlefront, like, this is a remake or a reboot really? of an old series. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it is. Cool. Yeah. Good for them. Now leave. <laughs> okay. Um, Bye. Yeah. Are you going to get a new? No? Oh, no. No. I literally I can't, can't name, name one, one Xbox. Xbox. Just named 13. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, you did name one. Crimson Skies. Just okay. move on. Yeah, I'm moving on. Halo Give me gold one. for... Shut up. Games with Gold for November. It was originally a Mac game, oh, actually. Really? Yeah, man. Yeah, it was a, Halo was, it was a Mac game for Mac. Cool. And then we'll get over. Give me facts, facts I'm learning from you guys today. today. Mm-hmm. Bill Gates was like Steve Jobs. Game. This is nice. something I'm excited about. Um, yeah. Games with Gold this month or next month. Yeah, what was it? Oh, November. Uh, hmm? For November. Yeah. For November, yeah. Um, Tales oh, from yeah, the Borderlands. Yeah. It's free. Yeah, I, I talked about this a couple weeks ago. Play this freaking game. Oh, yeah. It's just such a good Telltale game. It was free on PlayStation, PlayStation right? That's yeah. how you got it. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I didn't, didn't download, download it, so, so I'm definitely going to download, download, download yeah. it. Like, even if you don't like Borderlands, I don't like Borderlands, but it's just so funny and such a good Telltale game. Yeah. Um, Trackmania Turbo. It was one, I love this game. It came out with one of my favorite games last year, and it's just completely... It's like one of the most underrated games. Can you play this, together? I don't think you can. Yeah, I don't think you can, because it's mainly like... Um, like 20 30 second um races not even a race it's pretty much like point a to point b type of thing you're not really doing laps and it's just like cr- like completely crazy over the top uh stunt like stunts you're doing with like fast ass cars <laughs> so you know the um, you know like the cunning stunts that gta has gta yeah. 5 has yeah, yeah. this like trackmania turbo was pretty much the or track the trackmania series was the originator of that kind of stuff originator I originator i just made it a word it's okay. okay with it's fine. It's fine. Um, the other games are... Sorry, I went to go look, actually Google one of the titles because it looked familiar. Nights into Dreams Yeah. and Deadfall Adventure. I actually want to see the cover for Night, it. Yeah, Nights into Dreams was a Dreamcast game. You remember? It's like the purple boy. It's like some purple guy. It's oh, like an old like, yeah, uh, yeah. like flying game. Like I never played the Nights games. And the other game I've literally never heard of in my entire life. Wow. They announced, I'm like, what the hell is this? Yeah, Dead Falls. Never heard of yeah. It probably doesn't even exist. I looked at some gameplay. I, looked, I don't know. It was like first person. I'm not sure if it was on rails or not. But yeah. Nights into Dreams I never played. But <laughs> just an old like. It was like one of the like flagship Dreamcast games. Back Dead Fall Adventure. It's a was cowboy it for... game? Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> what? It's a cowboy game, yeah. It's a cowboy tree. No, it's, it's Hanu. Okay, sit at about twelve o'clock. <laughs> it's Hanu somewhere, somewhere in the world. So, Marcus, what are we doing? Are we gonna do this or are we playing? Oh, it's now time to play the monthly segment of where these two get to guess the NPD sales of what sold what, what sold what. <laughs> <laughs> Here uh, we go. Yeah. So the way this game works is Mike and Matt are gonna try and guess the top ten or some of the games in the top ten list of uh, the best-selling games, physical games from September. Yes, yeah, September of 2017. And the first person to get three games wrong will lose, leaving the other person to win. And yeah, if we get into a tie where you guys both get three at the same wrong at the same time. I then pick a game, and then you guys... I will list three games. One that's on the list, two that aren't, and you guys will guess. Perfect. And you, and you said, said you went over yeah, the old ones. Yeah, I went over these. We kept, like, saying it wrong about who won which months. And so far, yeah, like, we were saying, like, Mike won the first one. No, Matt won the first one in June. Mike won the first, the second one in July. And then Matt won the third one in August. All right, so he's winning two to one. Yeah, so now for September, we'll see if Matt's going to extend his lead 
Well, Mike doesn't. Did you, Did you see, see who, who went first in each round by any chance? chance? No, I forgot. Okay. Well, I don't know who goes first today then. Um. Since I'm since, behind, yeah, you go for it. I was gonna say that. Nice. Uh, also, I wrote it down for us, so. E. I'm pretty sure you wrote down last time too. We still did it. All right, so. Mike's probably gonna cheat because he probably already knows. It's but. not cheating. It's an obvious answer. No, he doesn't know it, but he doesn't know the list, but he knows something. So, Mike, you're up. Okay, no one is Destiny Two. Yeah, Destiny yeah, Two, 2017. Yeah, so it's number one on the list. Blame Damon Hatfield for that one. He just straight out tweeted it out. But yeah, well, it was a pretty big news story. So it actually overtook. It now overtook Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yep. Best do you think? Do you think uh, it's gonna stay, or do you think like Call of Duty will surpass it? Call of Duty will definitely yeah, I was going to say, Call of Duty has a really good chance. I don't know 100% because the Call of Duty's wig has been down, but it has yeah. definitely has a chance. All right, so Mike's clear, Matt. What about you? NBA 2K18. NBA 2K18. It's on the list, of course. Fucking number two, actually. Wow. Oh, nice. oh my God. We're in order today. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're next. Uh, I'm going to go with FIFA 18. 18. FIFA 18. It's on the list. Number this three. is so easy because this is the time games are coming out. Is it number three? It's number four, actually. Oh, three. Matt. I'm going to go with a classic, Grand Theft Auto V. GTA V. Since like 2013, that's been on this list. But it is now the time where games are coming out, and it's, of course it's still in the top no. ten. It's never, <laughs> not, it's never not been in the top ten. <laughs> Why? At number seven this month. Oh, I'll let you guess the you numbers, but that doesn't matter. Mike, you're next. Uh, NHL 18. NHL 18? It's on the list. Number three. Even though, yeah, it's not as popular as like in America and whatnot, but number three? No. Number eight. No, no. I'll take that. Hmm. Kind of fun. Um, okay, there's five games you still yet to guess that are in the top ten. Okay. Uh, Matt, you're next. Fuck, what came out this month? It's September, right? Yeah. Yes, this is Even from September. Right now. Literally. Yeah, they, they went real late for publishing the list. Hmm. And also, yeah, we are publishing on Monday. Well, Deal with that later. We should have said that in the beginning. We totally, totally should have. Should have. But whatever, Matt, go next. It's okay. Um, fuck, what came out? We can't see a list of yeah, what came I, out, right? Yeah, you're allowed to look oh, at it. I was looking at it before. before. I'd say go to Wikipedia. Don't yeah. just like look this no, no. up because no, you no. might get like... Type in list, list of gaming, gaming in 2017. It'll show everything. Hang on. Do, 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 do. As a way for Max to so say, if, if this happens, I might just like extend it to like the bottom 10, and then you guys are going to have to guess that. Well, it's going to be definitely, definitely easier now because more games are coming out. It's less, it's less like older games. games. Like last, last, last month, it was all older, older games. games. Do you want to look over to make no, sure I'm not I cheating? Or? I, I, don't I don't care. care. You cheat. Go ahead. Literally, Literally look, look up NBD. I don't, I don't care. care. Oh, wow. I'll, I'll still win. win. NBD? No big deal. Sounds about right. No, nah, buddy. September. Right. Delicious. <laughs> Nactoons. <laughs> I saw that. I'm like, like would Nactoons be on it? I'm like, please. I'm not going to say it because that'd be so embarrassing if it was uh, Nact one sold real well. That's right. That's why they made a second one. Could be on the list. I know. Matt, you want to guess? Guess Nact I'm going to, bro, I'm going to guess. Don't worry. Hold up. Guess Nact two. Guess Nact two. Mm. No. Why are you on GameSpot? Nerd. GameSpot. Had a list. Wow. wow. He's, he's, he's cheating. I'm not, I'm, I love Wikipedia only. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm giving you uh, 30 seconds. 30 yeah, seconds. taking a real, a real long, long time. time. Fine, jeez, gone. gone. Jeez, gone. 25 seconds. <laughs> That's taking a real long time. Bro, what the 20 fuck? seconds. Mm-hmm. 15 seconds. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use all my time. 10. 9. 9. 8. 8. 8. 7. 7. Six, six, five, five four, four, three. three. You're going to get a strike if you don't say something. Cuphead. Definitely not. Cuphead. Not on the list because NPD only tracks physical games. Was that so, even a physical release? No. Nice. So, uh, yeah. way to burn it out. <laughs> That's a giant, giant X over your name right now. Perfect. Nice. Okay, Mike. I'm at Continue. <laughs> go. <laughs> See, there are a couple of them. I can go with it. Wait, did I guess Skull Story? <laughs> Who's gonna tell them? <laughs> um, I'm not 100 percent sure this will be on the list, but it was uh, reviewed pretty positively, and it's a big hit in America. So I'm gonna go with Metroid: Return of Samus. Metroid: 
Return of Samus, Samus Returns. The Game Boy game, Mike. Yeah, yeah. from, from 1990. Metroid Samus Returns. It is on the list at number 12, so you got a strike. So I hate you. <laughs> one X for each of you. I hate you so, so much. much. I don't know, but hate Nintendo for it not selling in the top 10 range. No, I hate you for making me think it was there and then not making it there. So, uh, Matt, you're next. You guys are both at 1X. You did a stupid, but Mike just couldn't guess well. That was close. Well, at least you said a physical game. <laughs> Pez 20, uh, 2018. Pez 2018. Pro, Pro Evolution Soccer. Is that even out yet? I don't know, yeah, because it's not on this list. Nice. <laughs> not even in the top 20. Yeah. Wow. It gets, it gets destroyed back now. You should know this. All right, so Mike, you're back in the lead. You got you got a little bit of an advantage. You can even out the odds. See, this, this is a, is a new, new round, round. So, so make it known that if Mac gets, gets his, his guess wrong, wrong here, yeah, I yeah, yeah, it is. is. Okay. okay, yeah, you do. As long as we understand this, so go. Okay. okay. Um, one, game one game that, that I'm thinking, thinking of is MVC Infinite, but I know that game had a lot of like issues, and like that's Marcus didn't even pick it up, so you know it probably didn't sell well. But then again, people love that series, so maybe people did buy it. Are you actually gonna go with it? No, you're not going with it. Go with Project Cars too. Project Cars too. Project Cars, did Project Cars even 2 come out? Because I don't see it on the list here either. Uh, it did come it out. Did, and but it is not here. Like, yep. list, Swing and a miss. 2-2 two, two for being wrong, for being incorrect. Matt? Rainbow Six Siege. No. Rainbow Six Siege. It was on the list uh, last was, month. That number number uh, six it was. And this game came out 2015. So it's pretty impressive. But unfortunately for Mike, it is in the top ten. At number ten. <laughs> So, Mike, if you get this wrong, then... No, act- yeah, 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 true. So, go ahead. So, even if you get this wrong, you're not officially out. Let's go. Rainbow Six Wait, how? He gets three strikes. It, yeah, but it, it, since it's the start of a new round, yeah. if he gets this wrong, you would have to get it right, or we go into a tiebreaker. Okay, okay. Go you got a... Uh, trusty trusty steed. steed, Breath of the Wild. With the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, your trusty steed, Epona... One of the best-selling games of the year. It's still on there, Mike. At number nine. Shit. So, Matt, if you get this wrong, you're out. And really? The series yeah. is tied. Or does he need to get it right? No, because no, it's the first. start of a new round, so. Okay, come on, Matt. Get with the program. <sighs> so he's, yeah, because he's guessed more right or than you, right. or whatever. Whatever, the way that Some sports work. Four. It's a, a national sport. Yeah. yeah. Played, Played by everybody. everybody. The game that doesn't even have a name. We should we give should it a name. name. It's the game that doesn't have a name. Here, the, name the name is Mike, Mike wins, wins every, every time. time. But you are literally Shh. behind so much. <laughs> Don't speak. Come on, Matt. You've got how many games? Uh, There's like one, what, four? One, two, three. Uh, three games that have yet to been. Uh, Dang, that's rough. Guessed. And the obvious ones are gone. Are they, though? Yes, yes Marcus. Marcus. We're, not We're not looking at the list. list. If he right, could be cheating, cheating. We don't even know. I'm giving you, I'm, I'm get, not giving you 10 seconds now. Hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, say golf story, 5, <laughs> 4. I'm going to go three. with uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Ghost Recon Wildlands, the previous best selling game of the year. Matt, it is not on the list at all anymore in the top 20. Really? So, what this means Mike evens out the overall score. It is now 2 to 2 officially for this game, for the MPD. Number guessers. Can I ask you a guessers. question? Go ahead. Where's Black Ops 3? Is it on the list? Not on the list at all. Okay, cool. That's <laughs> all I can think of. So that was my other guess. From the from number 10 to 1, we got Rainbow Six Siege, 9, Breath of the Wild, 8, NHL 18, which, uh, yeah, my guess. 7, GTA 5, 6, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I was going to say that. It shocked the hell out of me. Right? So apparently this game did pretty well, at least physically. So imagine how much it did digitally, too. Mm-hmm. 5. Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Yeah, I guess I last, last, last week, week and everybody was like, "Oh, you're so stupid." Mike. Nintendo actually even put out, "It's like, yeah, and Mario and Rabbit's did really well, or whatever." Like, four FIFA 18, three. Can I, can I just wait? What's three? Wait, hang on, hang on. This game I didn't save because my thought was it's Madden. This oh. game came out in August, and I thought, "Oh, it's yeah. September." No, it I, I, I forgot it still yeah. applies. Damn. Yeah, it applies yeah. to every game. I know, I know. So, sure NFL 18, sure. two was NBA 2K, and one the best selling game of 2017, mm-hmm. Destiny 2. Mm-hmm. You should have known Madden. It, well, we you should have known Madden. I know, we feel stupid. <laughs> Best selling. Like, I told you there was still easy stuff left. Yeah. Best selling games over the last twelve months. 
Uh, the first one is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. <laughs> no. Oh, number 10 at uh, Breath of the Wild. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good pretty game. game. Shit. You should try it. <laughs> Destiny 2 is now the best selling game of 2017. That's what I said. That's what we said multiple times. <laughs> 15 no, I'm just was reading, Ark sorry. Survival Evolved too, so that's like really that's on there. Crashy yeah. B was even uh, hanging on at number 19 too. Damn, <laughs> good boy, Crashy. All yeah. right, so that's done. And number 20 was Minecraft, as yeah. per the usual. Perfect. Okay. Wait, the best selling record? game on the Switch was Rabbids. Well, at least physically. Yeah. What, what do you mean the last month? This month. Wow. So, no, it would have been September. They wouldn't have sorry, it. September. Sorry, 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 September. That makes that sense. Makes I mean, new game. game. It came out right at the end of August, too, so. Yeah. Damn it. Damn. Man. That's okay. When I guess, I guess that, you guess guys are like, you're, you're stupid. stupid. It's not it's on, on there. there. And now it's number guess it. what, five? five? I'm so smart. smart. And I and I got and MVC Infinite too, but you didn't. I would, that would have been my next. That would have been my next guess. guess. I would have gone with that next if I, Matt had gotten one right. It's okay. Well, then. You well anyways, your gut. thank you guys so much for listening. We're not gonna play, uh, talk about what we've been uh, or talk about the date change. Like, there's so many more things to do, man. Literally, Stop wrapping wrapping it up. been playing the biggest game this year. Fire Emblem Warriors. Should I go first? Because I'm playing the important game. Okay, Mike has been playing Fire Emblem Warriors. Nobody cares. Let's get to the real juicy stuff. I beat Cuphead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said last week. No, I played Cuphead. I actually beat it this oh, time. right. Good Holy job. shit. That was fucking like oh, an abusive relationship right there with that <laughs> game. Yeah, before we talk about Mario, yeah, I beat Cuphead. Played if you like games like that. And also, I bought Shovel Knight, the Treasure Trove on Switch, because I'm like, I don't want to go back to my Wii U to play the new campaigns. Played Spectre of Torment, which came out earlier this year. One of my favorite things I've played this year. It's mm-hmm. an all-new fucking game. Uh, in like the Shovel Knight universe and unlike Plague of Shadows where it's just Shovel Knight with Plague Knight controls like di- controlling differently it's an entirely different like from the ground up like rebuilt and remixed and restyled levels mm-hmm. for Spectre Knight play this game if you haven't so can you can buy, you buy the, the campaigns, campaigns all separately? separately? yeah I was looking on Switch I don't think you can buy like the regular Shovel Knight campaigns uh, separately but you can buy like Spectre of Torment separately and I think on like the, I'm not sure if on the PS4 and Xbox One and like other platforms, I think you might be able to actually buy all of them. The Switch one is just weird. But I would recommend if you're going to buy it, buy the Treasure Trove and get everything. How much is it? Uh, it was, it's on sale right now, 20% off until how, like before Halloween, which is why I bought it, rebought it on Switch. But you didn't answer my question. How much is it? Very nice. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Um, well, with the 20% off, it's like 26 here in Canada, but regular it's like 33. It but it's worth it. What? I thought, I thought you were going to say, say I don't, I don't care. care. I, thought I thought you were going to say the price in the U.S. is, is blank. And I was going to say I don't care what the U.S. Well, I didn't say that. Don't assume. I, know. I assume. Yeah, yeah but like thirty-three ninety-nine, I think, it's some weird-ass price that Canada always gets. Naturally. But I recommend it. Bad. It's not, especially if you're getting four campaigns and everything. Because I, I also replayed through the original Shovel Knight, and I did the body swap mode. So I played as like a female Shovel Knight, rescued a male Shield Knight. All the other knights were male oh, or female. It's not a spoiler. But yeah, we still got the King's uh, King Knight mode to uh, come and also like the four player Smash Bros. style beat em up game. Yeah, well, yeah. Shovel, I've mentioned this like a thousand, thousand times, times, but yeah, yeah. Shovel Knight's a game that I want to pick up eventually. Yeah, I'm telling, man, do it now. It's on sale, 20% off. Yeah, but I got so many other things to do things to play. Well, you're playing Fire Emblem Warriors, which is like whatever, but I've finally been playing Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah. Which is probably going to be like the main thing of this, like the title of this episode and everything. And holy crap, this might be my game of the year. It's definitely up there. Like, I love Mario. It's m- top time. Like, one of my favorite franchises in anything ever. Guaranteed. Like, I love Zelda this year. This is why Zelda Breath of the Wild is really good. And it's a really good Zelda game. And, well, it's a really good game. But, I don't know. Like, there's still so much good ga- So many good games that came out this year. People keep saying, like, 2017 was one of the... This has been one of the best years for games. And mm-hmm. there's no doubt Horizon. about it. Horizon, even games I haven't played, like Persona 5 and Neo and Nier Automata, and yeah, yeah. just, like, what's to come. Like, people Shadow love of War. Destiny 2 and Shadow of War. There's still, like, World War 2, and so many freaking, so much to play. Like, Force Uncharted Lost Legacy, Lost Legacy, Golf Story. Cave Story. Final Wars. Wars. Came out plenty of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Matt and I have been playing it. Mike hasn't because he would rather play Fire Emblem Warriors. I don't know okay, why, but... but yeah, we um we talked about when Edge Magazine re- uh, leaked their review that they were like, there's, like, Mario has as many, um something along the lines of there's almost as many 
moons to collect in Mario as there are Korok seeds in Zelda. And we were all like, yeah, that's probably not going to be the case. Maybe a couple hundred. And I've been looking online, and there are well over 800 moons to collect in this game. Absolutely crazy. I'm on my 10th kingdom right now, and every freaking kingdom, like, every kingdom just does, like, just always throw something new at you. It's so incredible. Where, where Zelda, like, reimagined what Zelda could be. I don't think Mario does that for Mario, but it reimagines, like, the way that a 3D Mario could operate. Whereas, in, like, in Mario 64, you were always, like, you were out for one star, and then you would get kicked back out of the level. Um, in Mario Sunshine, you were just exploring. It, it gave more of an exploration sense, and, like, you were always going back to the same location, but just going to a different place, and the same thing. You're going to the one shine and then getting kicked back out. Galaxy was more linear in the sense of mm-hmm. you're following a roadmap, which I loved, because Mario 64, <coughs> like, Mario Sunshine, I'm not a fan of much at all. Mario 64 is good, not my favorite Mario, but I love the Galaxy, I love the Galaxy um, format, and I love the 3D World format, and 3D World doesn't get enough love, but Odyssey is definitely way more in tune with 64 and Sunshine, but instead of getting, like, kicked out of the level every time you get a moon, you're getting these things cons- like, constantly, because there's, like, tens of moons per per um, kingdom so yeah they'll vary between like what in the 20s to the 60s and like I even said this last time where I think like the moons are actually fun to get in Mario as opposed to Zelda where the Korok seeds are more of like a nuisance and just like you yeah. find yourself just going mad and like picking up fucking rocks and just getting like oh man there's no freaking seeds here. I have 700 and yeah, there's, there, at, a, at a point there's no use to collect these seeds anymore whereas Mario they're meant to progress for the most part and well no, actually no they are meant to progress you need a certain amount of moons you don't need to collect them all but collecting them all is such like a, you have such a fun time because each moon individually has something specific and nice and sweet about it like yeah. you have the old school puzzles then they're in random places that it's like wait how did I not see this? The five to- there times I was yeah. here, you know, like it's it's such a a little satisfying discovery every single time mm-hmm. that you don't get tired of it. For example, in Zelda, it's like I'll carry six apples with me and throw them into shrines, and then I'll pick up this rock if it looks weird, and I'm gonna lift up this metal and box. I, like see this pinwheel and whatnot. In, and in, it's, in defense of Zelda, like the first time you find it's all a bad game levels, stuff, it's, it's fun. fun. Right? right? Yeah, yeah the, 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 the 20th, 20th time you do the yeah. same, same rock lifting, lifting thing, yeah, yeah fine. fine. But, like, but the, like first the first time finding those, those, especially when you're exploring, exploring the world, is fun. Mm-hmm. That's my take. And Mario, like, Mario will repeat itself sometimes, whereas, like, there's always, a, there's usually always a moon in the shop of every world. Yeah. So, it's something like that, but you're not getting, you're not doing that, like, however, like, how many rocks, how many Koroxies are hidden under rocks in Zelda, you think? Probably well over 100. Like... So easily four hundred mm-hmm. rock, e- yeah. easily. I've been collected seven hundred. I can say there's yeah. at least four hundred. I'm uh, a little over two hundred moons right now in the tenth kingdom, and it's just so much fun. Like the way that they just completely went balls to the wall, like allowing different costumes and having like being able to deck out your Odyssey and like having the whole. Fo- I've spent so much time in this photo mode, like just yeah. taking random photos. Um, just like the little details. Like, have you found a dog in the game? Not yet. Okay, so. Yeah, having it like finding a dog is pretty cool. Like they showed it in like one of the trailers. Oh, is anything wrong no, with your no. mic? But it's just so much fun. Like even going to like the old eight bit style like two uh, D Mario, the way that kind of like a link between worlds would send you into the wall. Like Mar like Odyssey will send you into like a Super Mario Bros. NES style platforming section, and it just does like even, instead of just doing like you're across the wall and you're going from you're just trying to get to the end of this little platforming section there's even like little secrets hidden into those so there's like so many different moons and coins to collect in this game and it's not even just the collect like the collectathon aspect that makes it fun it's the way like you're exploring and the way that when you get into a game sometimes it feels like like the witcher or even gta you're like man this is a really big world i'm kind of like overwhelmed here it's pretty much everything catches your eye so you just always want to like go to it and like the worlds are like the perfect size in their own respect where you're not overwhelmed with everything every world you go to because you can take each one like one at a time and they each have their own like unique theme and spin to it and their own like like fucking incredible music different characters in each world like oh yeah it's pretty much they could have taken like one of the aspects from these worlds like only one or like two or three of these worlds and like made them into one game but 
It's just there's so much to do. Going back to its origins, I, I see AC origin. <laughs> I, <laughs> I see um, a lot of Mario Galaxy in this. Um, so much to the point where it's like I can see like early early development. It's like we need a new game, you know, Mario Galaxy three, and then it developed into this yeah. Switch exclusive. I don't know thing. if it was like originally a Galaxy game, like. Be- just because of the way that Galaxy revolved so much around, like, the space kind of platforming with, like, a lot of the floatier jumps. And, of course. It, and, and, like, some power-ups, because there really aren't power-ups. You, there's cappy abilities. No, and, of course. But, like, the, didn't even touch on those. Like, yeah. Like, I'm saying, I think that's how it started, as its own idea. And then, um, because you notice, well, for me, I notice anyway, if you listen to it a lot, um, the sounds and stuff from uh galaxy and the new and are there health bar looks the same um it plays in a sense the same way um i mean it's mario you can't really get too different but um i don't know it, it's just i get a, i get that vibe from it right and i love it absolutely absolutely love it and and the best part about it cappy isn't annoying yeah i know I, like, that was like one of my fucking first things like he's actually like delightful like when yeah, you first get him it's like hilarious like the writing and stuff we're supposed to like Fi and like Skyward Sword or whatever. It's yeah, annoying. Master, that. your batteries are running yeah. low. Or like Navi, like back in like old Zelda games, or even like Flood and Sunshine. Just like annoying. Like a lot of old Nintendo uh, games didn't know when to shut up. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Cappy will just he he won't like interrupt you midway through uh, mid midway through playing. He'll like they'll interject through like the cutscenes, and that's pretty much it. I love his little tidbits. Like there's this one level where you're just um, it's the water one. The first water one, Lake and Kingdom, yeah. it's just a giant tube of water you're you're trying to dive into, mm-hmm. and and then he just pops up on the screen like he doesn't disturb you yeah. at all, and he just goes, "Wow, this is really deep." Yeah, it'll just be like a speech bubble. Yeah, like it's you know it's very nice, it's very calm, it's super subtle. Like I love it. Mm-hmm. It's, they did it very properly, um, not annoying in the slightest. The writing is fantastic. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, man, if I had a cap like this. I can never take it off, like mm-hmm. ever. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a cool little companion. Yeah. That's what it is, right? Sounds cool. Are you gonna get this game, Mike? Yeah, of course, I'm gonna, gonna get, get it. it. You know, I'll you probably, know, probably, probably do. I'll probably just play, play the Horizon, Horizon DLC. song. D- wow, well, DLC. <laughs> DLC. <laughs> DLC. <laughs> it's like he broke. <laughs> he needs a software update. <laughs> the mic blue screen. No, <laughs> because that comes out November seventh. So I'll probably so play that, and then once I finish that, I'll grab more. So you're gonna do the DLC song, then you're gonna get. Yeah. Nice. Songs. From now on, all DLC, all DLC is called DLC. DLC. I've still got like after this though, I'm I might go away through like the main campaign of Mario and explore as much. Then I want to pick up like Wolfenstein too because that and AC Origins and Odyssey all came out on the same day, of course. Yeah, which we didn't even talk about the other two because yeah, none of us played it. Yeah, it was crazy. but Wolfenstein two is probably my second most anticipated game like of the year, and just I really want to yeah. get into that. Next game I'm gonna I, because I also did pick up Destiny two on the PC. Um, oh, yeah, but that's that a grinding. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, I heard people were getting banned. <laughs> yeah, people are getting banned for cheating and stuff and toxicity yeah. and whatever. Um, toxicity. a lot of fun. Uh, definitely something worth picking up if you have people to play with. You like the grind. Um, I remember talking about it last month as well when it came out on the Xbox. Mm-hmm. So I'm not gonna dive into it too much. It's the same thing. Um, but a lot of fun on the PC. The frame rate is really nice. Um, unlocked frame rate really really does help. Other than that, um. I also, because the Halloween Steam sale, so I bought Euro Truck Simulator 2. Oh, God. It was $5. How is that a Halloween sale? How spooky is it? <laughs> I don't know, but... Is there like a I witch's broom that you can ride, ride around on? Listen, when you got... Because it's European Truck Simulator. Europeans so listen, are pretty when scary. You're, when you're going 90 down a highway, and you see this Russian guy just speeding past you in this 18 wheeler you're just like holy oh, crap and then the brazilian guy behind him just rams into you you're just like bro what's happening your truck flips over it's pretty scary he dodge rams into you <laughs> yeah it's pretty nice. it's pretty it's pretty spooky i never wanted to play a game more than i want to play this game right now yeah other than that um one of the most anticipated games honestly this year i'm very excited for shadow of war like i know it came out already but I personally haven't played it. Waiting um, for the X. Waiting for the X to come out. I'm going to grab it then. So excited. I want it. I want it so bad. Yeah, same. I'm like Wolfenstein 2 is next. I really want to try out the Call of Duty World War 2 campaign. It's been looking really good. And also, if Battlefront 2's campaign is, I'm going to wait on that, see what people say about it. Mm-hmm. Like, hopefully it's not just like um, just a stripped down like Battlefield with 
no. battle with Star Wars clothes on it. Yeah, hopefully not, but I don't know. Oh, um, I saw this uh, this tweet, actually. This tweet from Twitter? Hang on, I'm actually going to see if I can pull it up. Um, let me... real Donald Trump says. Nice. Yeah, hold on. A little piece of other news um, that I found AMR. super interesting. Mike, you say what you've been you've been playing? Talk about Fire Emblem. How much what I play been playing kit matters. Well, you look something else. I'll talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. go. <laughs> Fire Wars, Wars, man, it's real fun. fun. Yeah, I played Hyrule Warriors. I enjoyed it. What's after I never played a Dynasty Warriors game before that, but I liked Zelda. I liked the Zelda characters, so it got me into it. Yeah, yeah honestly, honestly, like I find this game a little less. Like, like compelling, compelling because the characters, characters obviously like I, I like, like these characters, characters but not as much as like, I haven't played a Fire Emblem well I've tried like a bit of it but I've never really fully played through one and even like from what little I know of Smash Bros a lot of the characters don't really have maybe they have personalities in game but there's not really much to distinguish no, them. Yeah, even, like, even, even even like playing as them in like in, in uh, Fire, Fire Emblem Warriors yeah. like they're very similar the Soul Sword wow I can't speak today the Soul Sword the Sword wielders are all like play similarly um, um, the, the lance, lance users, users same thing, thing axe, same, same thing. thing. So, like, so like, yeah, for yeah, you, like, you, like, I wouldn't recommend it to you because I don't think, think you'd connect with the characters that much, so it wouldn't, wouldn't be as fun. fun. If, if, if you want to play this style style, style game, game, just play, play um, higher warriors game. Yeah, pull that Wii U. Even a regular like Dynasty Warriors, I don't know if I would ever go to. Yeah, I think. Well, the gameplay was fun, so maybe it would be, but I just don't want like any of that like typical anime trope. Yeah, that's yeah, the that's thing. thing. In, this in this game, game the, the, the story is so bad because it's the classic fire like, 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 oh, you, you have kids on the battlefield? Person. No, no it's, it's not me. me. And then, yeah. Do you have children on the battlefield? Do you have battlefield babies? You, you, no, no, not that I know. Can you do that in regular Fire Emblem? You can. Make children right in the middle of fighting? You can group up two allies and then eventually they get married and have kids, yes. Mm. Speaking Mistress of one of those kids, kids is Lucina, Lucina who is my main in this game because she's, she's awesome. awesome. Perfect, Marth. Anyway, nobody cares. She's not Marth. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. <laughs> what were you saying? Care to finish? There's one thing I really like about this game is when you exit to the, to the title screen, like there's a narrator who will say something depending on like the situation. So like if it's three o'clock in the morning, like it was last night when I was playing. It'll, It'll say to you, like, oh, it's really it's late, late mister. You should go to bed. Something, Something like that. Like an old Nintendo. It's, it's totally, totally, like, fourth wall breaking, breaking, and it's and hilarious. Or is it annoying? Like, when you're playing Wii Sports, and you're like, take a break. Yeah. Go outside. But this yeah. is literally, like, it's not even just text. It's the person who says it. Get out of your parents' house. It's really strange. But yeah, it's really cool. Put on the wrist strap. Yeah, I like it. So, yeah. It's fun. Good. Good, good. I'm glad I'm choosing over Odyssey right now. Okay. It's where he gets ignored again. Um, this just popped in my head that I actually forgot. So, um, I saw this from Halo Follower. Um, possible news. Uh, 343's native director may very be Paul Crocker. Um, his LinkedIn profile status changed to narrative director at 343. Mm-hmm. Um, he is the gentleman who wrote uh, Batman Arkham, the Batman Arkham series. Ooh. Yeah. So, the next Halo game... Good series. Shut up, Mike. So, the next Batman... Or, um, Halo games may actually uh, have a lot of in-depth story. I'm very yeah. excited, honestly. Well, based off of, like, I'm going to say, like, utter disappointment that Halo 5 was with the story and the campaign specifically. The campaign was, like, a 5 out of 10? It was, um, like, definitely, like, my least or, like, second to least lowest Halo campaign. It favorite was, Halo campaign. It was, the campaign itself was a letdown. Mike's looking real weird Why? You said it's it my, maybe second. second. Like, I think it's Because I'm not, like, Halo, Halo 1, I just don't. I don't like Halo 1's campaign. Then it, I've said this so many times, I just don't. I know it's, it's because of the whole back and forth yes. thing. Keep in mind, though, it was 2000. Yeah, I so mean, Halo 5 really... might be my least. <laughs> yeah. Was it the was first it Halo you played? played? What, Halo 5? Halo no. Uh, my first Halo I played was oh, Halo, Halo 3. 3 right? I think that's yeah. probably why for you, because it was 3, the first like, Halo I played, I played, and like I don't have any problems with it, like you do. The first Halo I played was also Halo 1. And you don't have problems with that. I do yeah. not know. Yeah. And I, I do understand. I respect, I respect your opinion, opinion, but I'm saying it's probably the fact that it was your level, not the first one you played. Level, um, the, the second level, with, with the Warthog, um, and then the fourth level. Again, with the, the mm. same with the Warthog, if you remember the levels anyway. The second level is when you crash land. And you go yeah. across the bridge, and then you eventually get a warthog. You have to go look for survivors. And you go back, and then so you go back and forth in that one, and then the fourth level where you jump onto the beach, warthog dro- drops, and it's just one giant island. You circle like twice, <laughs> then you go like into the middle, um, then you go into the structure. Uh, that one there is also annoying. So, because even like what like 
it might not age as well, but Halo Two is literally my favorite Halo campaign. Halo Two and fantastic. That age, that like ages the same way in terms of gameplay and everything, but like the level design and everything, and yeah. even having the Arbiter and Master Chief at the same time, I still find way superior than Locke and yeah, it's, Chief. It's, it's two totally it's different people control like, like schemes, schemes. You know what I mean? It's not that. It's the fact of like like even the settings you're put in and like the weaponry you use and yeah, lo- like. A lot of I think a lot of people were also just upset about how the marketing kind of was like yeah, just fooled everyone of how th- it was leading up to be this huge like lock versus chief like locks hunting him down because chief went rogue with his team and none of that really ever yeah, came yeah. into the game. If it's you want to know chief why never had a sand yeah. he was never in the desert wearing a cloak. <laughs> you you want to know why? Because Halo Two had a lot of story progression. Mm-hmm. Halo Five consisted of and if you haven't played this, fucking go play it. Like. Well, it's been two years already. Like play other games first. It's either it's either you've played it or you don't care enough to play. Mm-hmm. It, so you, whatever. So who cares? Spoilers. The entire campaign consists of oh my god, Master Chief went rogue. Finds him two missions later. Hey, I didn't go rogue, but Cortana is losing her yeah. mind. Oh, oh okay, cool. So we're gonna help you now. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, Cortana's gonna be the bad person in the next game. Oh, okay. Sounds about right. That I should, that is literally the entire five. It sounds pretty accurate. Yeah. It is like pretty much a Cortana trilogy of like her going mad and then ever, like the repercussions of that and then like the sixth tale will be like trying to rebuild Cortana or find a new Cortana or something like that. It's Building gonna be AI. stopping the big bad and then yeah. um rebuilding. But like I'm excited for it because Halo five as a game, like gameplay wise, fantastic. I I do enjoy the new mechanics, everything as a, as a sort. Um, considering this Halo is not an annual franchise, um, the last one was 2015. Yeah, they're usually on a like, three-year cycle. So yeah. next year would be the year, but they never did. Uh, like they never they did, did anything. Yeah, they didn't do an announcement this year. So it seems like maybe after Halo Five, they there's either one of two things that they're doing. I think one is that after Halo 5's, uh reception, they want to go back to the drawing board and rethink a lot of the ways they were going to go with the story mm-hmm. and redo that and maybe do a 2019 release. Or they're going to try and, like, pull what Bethesda did with, like, Fallout 4 and do, like, announcement right before E3, mm-hmm. like, big showcase at E3 or their own event, and then release in the fall. And considering they're getting people like this who have worked on big story-based mm-hmm. um, campaigns and stuff, it it's a good sign. So I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess it's possible, possible that, that last year they, they could have done, done something similar to the, to the cloak, cloak thing, thing, you know? You know? Yeah. And they just decided not yeah. to. So maybe, so maybe it's, it's the same, same development, development, like, status. status. They, just they just didn't decide not to show it. Again, keep in mind, this was, if not all of it, or it's about half, I want to say, of the original Halo team that moved from Bungie to 343, anyways. Mm. Um, you still have all the big names, anyways, there. So I think they're really, really trying to make this game um, one final big, p- amazing thing in the Master yeah. Chief saga, right? Um, they said that they will keep producing Halo games in the future. Not necessarily like Master Chief, but yeah, just something in the Halo universe. Exactly. Yeah. So, hey, Mark, hey Mark, remember we're playing, playing Halo, Halo 5 on Legendary, Legendary and we did those last three missions? missions. Yeah. And we'd like die like a thousand <laughs> times. Mm-hmm. It was fun. Times. It was fun. Fun times. So but many good Halo memories in. Oh, guys, we should play Halo. I don't have Xbox Live. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of free trials, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me your free trials? Hmm? You use free trials if you already have. Them? Yeah, all, if you already have a subscription, they'll say like, "No, you can't give this to someone else." Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. But you don't have a subscription anymore. No. So nice. also, remember when I said like that number next to the my name went away? It came back. Oh, that, nice. Like the five years or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It might be gone by now again. Who knows? Who okay, who knows? Well, anything else you guys like to add before the big announcement? We haven't talked about Overwatch, so of course I have to bring it up. <laughs> Overwatch. <laughs> oh yeah, the event's almost done, but yeah. It is like next week. So, you may have noticed, um, this Friday, there was no podcast. Mm-hmm. Guys, what happened? Well, um, Matt, decided Matt decided to get Mario another job. Out. I've had another job for like a month and a half, know, bro. But you finally decided to let the Mario came out, so I was too busy playing. Honestly, I feel like Marcus didn't want to record that night because he wanted to play Mario. So... When's our new day for uploading? Monday. Mondays. Mm-hmm. So we're a Monday podcast now. Perfect. This and also, good. we are also now available on Google Play and Stitcher. Stitcher. Oh, wow. Yeah. Never heard, Never heard of that. It's a really popular 
podcast. Well, I was born I, I don't use it. I still use like the iTunes app, which a lot of people say is bad, but I, don't, I find it just fine. In, I don't, in iOS in 11, 11, I don't like it. it. They change. I don't. Well, I don't have iOS don't, 11, don't. so that, that's, that's the worst that's part of it. I know. I've heard like uh, battery issues and yeah. buggy yeah. stuff. It's really bad. Yeah, my phone yeah, crashing. Crash yeah, yeah, so. iOS 11 made me switch to Android. Literally. <laughs> oh yeah. Quite oh, literally. literally. It literally did though. But yeah. Anything else? Are we done? No, that's about it. We're good. So yeah. So catch some Monday. It's a Friday. Yeah. All right. Bye. Thank you so much for listening. You guys have a wonderful night. Take care. Chip, chip, chip. Bye. Cheers.